HSN. C.A. Swanson and Sons of Omaha, Nebraska, packers of America's best-known brand, canned and frozen poultry, presents the exciting television game, The Name's the Same. <laughs> now, let's meet our panel of famous names. First, a new addition to our panel from Broadway and Hollywood, Dane Clark. Famous radio and television actress, Joan Alexander. Bright young comedian of the show of shows, Carl Reiner. And your host and moderator, another famous name, Robert Q. Lewis. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to The Names the Same. Tonight, as usual, you're going to meet some people who have very famous names. Names the same as famous celebrities and places and things that we all know. Gene, now let's meet our first guest with a famous name. Hi. We have some preliminaries on our program. May I ask where you're from? Schenectady, New York. Schenectady, good. What you do up there? I'm a secretary for GE. For GE. Well, we know you've got a famous name, and uh, uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to refer to you as Miss X from now on, just so we don't give away your name by accident. For submitting this name to us, we're sending $10 to Mrs. C. Aiken, Jr. of Warrensville Heights, Ohio. Now, let's let our home audience see this young lady's famous name. <laughs> This is really your name, isn't it? Yes, Folks, it is. I'd like to point out once again that we check birth certificates and other verifications. Every one of the names we use on the names the same is completely authentic. Now, panel, it's up to you to determine what this young lady's famous name is. Ten questions apiece. Uh, each panelist who uses up his questions or fails to get the answer must pay Miss X a check for $25. Dane, welcome to the show. Let's start with Joan Alexander. <laughs> Are you living? Yes, I am. Are you in the arts? Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Are you a girl? Yes, I am. I pass. All right, Dane. Dane, Dane pass knows me. all about girls. <laughs> <laughs> are you a girl? A silly question. Um, <laughs> are you in the world of entertainment? Yes. Are you a uh, Are you a performer in the world of entertainment? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sure. Are you in films? Are you known primarily for your work in films? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you a uh, dramatic actor as opposed to a comedian? I think the young lady has done both equally well, and you have six questions. I pass. All right, uh, uh, Carl, ten questions. Is one of your pictures playing at present on Broadway or in the local movie theaters throughout the country? Um, I am positive yes, that yes. one of her films is currently uh, playing, yes. Um, with the color of your hair... No, is the color of your hair brunette? Yes, it is. Oh. You seem that's disappointed, that's Carl. That's 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 I, was, I was hoping it was a blonde. There's so many more blondes out in Hollywood. Um, have you ever appeared in a musical picture? I believe so, yes. yes. Uh -huh. Are you considered one of the first ladies of the American motion picture industry? Well, that's a tough question, isn't it? I don't know what the first lady of the American motion... We don't want to get anybody fired. Just say yes. I'll quit. I'll pass. I, I don't even know how to answer that, Carl. Right. I'm sorry. Joni, you have seven questions. Do you have any distinction? She's certainly one of the foremost ladies in the uh, entertainment business. Yeah, Go ahead, Joan. You Do you have, have any distinguishing physical characteristics? Why, she's a girl. <laughs> Is there any girl who does not? Uh, the young lady is distinguished, shall we put it that way? She is distinguished. Is she known for her great beauty and uh, uh, physical attractiveness? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, are you currently, have you just finished a picture with, with another famous uh, movie star? Yes. Yes. Yes, and you have four questions. You have? Yeah. Uh, would the other famous movie star be a blonde? Yes. Mm -hmm. And is the other famous movie star, uh, well, considered a very delectable dish? Yes, she I is. think I can honestly say yes. You have uh, two questions, Joni. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> is the other girl Marilyn Monroe? Yes. Are you Jane Russell? That is right. Very good. All right, 
right, Greg, uh, Joni, Carl, and uh, Dane, write out your checks for $25 apiece. Uh, Miss Russell, may I say that you're equally attractive as your famous namesake. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. And I'd ask you to go over there, say hello to our panel, and pick up your checks, and thanks Miss Swanson right. for playing the names the same. Now let's meet our next guest with a famous name. Hi. Please sit down. Where do you hail from, sir? Hamilton Beach, New York. Hamilton Beach, New York. And uh, what's your occupation? I'm an engineer accountant. All right, sir. We know you've got a famous name. We're all anxious to take a look at it. Let's open those blinds and show our home audience this gentleman's famous name. Panel, I think you'll have a little fun with this one. Uh, before we start, uh, you all know the rules. Mr. X, you may answer yes or no. And uh, let me tell you this. Mr. X's name is a thing. I thought that would make you very happy. Carl Reiner, will you start, please? Is this thing that you are considered useful? <laughs> I would say yes. So. Yes. yes. I, I would say yes. Is it likely that I have had one of these? <laughs> I doubt that very much. Well, then I'm I correct in assuming that this is more uh, used by women than it is by men. Oh, yes, I think you'd be safe in that assumption. Uh, could you find one of these in a department store? Yes. yes, very definitely. They're frequently found in department stores. Might you find it at the lingerie counter? Yes, you I might. Think so. Yes. Do, do some women tug at these in public? <laughs> Matter of fact, so, yes. would you say that? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. All right. Uh -huh. Definitely. After a woman has had one of these for a while, would they possibly tend to lose their shape? Yes. I think that's the general tendency. <laughs> Do women use these to hold their stockings up? <laughs> what is that? I, I, it's I, an interesting thought, but no. Well, I'd better pass before I go any further. Johnny, you've got ten questions. Well, Look, just a minute now. Would this be found more often in a lingerie department if a woman brought it there? I think, so, I think yeah. that would be, uh, yeah, yes, it would be safer in saying that, yes. Well, is this an animate thing? I mean, from the animal kingdom. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Is it, uh, uh, from, is it a domesticated animal? <laughs> oh, no. Yes, I would call it, oh, yes. Right. Uh -huh. right. Yes, it's domesticated, you could... Do they it. have, uh, fairly sharp teeth? <laughs> Yes. When they have teeth, they're fairly sharp. Do they have a chew bone? <laughs> chew bone. Yes, they do. I think they do they growl when they're angry? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes? Yes? Much so, yes, yes, they would growl when angered. You have four questions, Joni. Well, would you say then that they could have puppies? <laughs> Could they have, could they, uh, <laughs> not in the no, sense that you mean, so. uh, Joni, no. No, you have three questions. Oh, well, I pass. Uh, Dane, you've got ten. <laughs> Happy could ten to you. Could they ever have had puppies? Could they ever have had puppies? Or some, or some offspring? Offspring, no. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yes, I don't Yes, yes, uh, 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 wait a minute, is this thing, uh, uh, um, a, a piece of apparel, even though it is anim was, once was animate, or is, but is ever used as apparel. No. Well, it's draped around things frequently, but I don't think you'd call it. I don't think you'd call it a piece of apparel. You have is a it an undergarment of any kind? No, it is not. No, no form of apparel whatsoever, Dane. Well, what I call apparel is what you can see. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, well let's keep it. <laughs> All right, seven questions. I pass. All right. Uh, Carl, is, two questions remain. Is this a whole human being of some size? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, I have you one You have question. one question. 
Oh. Uh, well, I'll say it's, it's, I think it's some kind of a child or something like a, a, an infant or something like that. No, I don't. No, uh, sorry. Uh, Johnny, three questions. Is it a man? Yes. yes. Oh. Uh, well, is it a husband? That's right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> May I say that's the most fascinating set of questions I've ever heard in my whole life. I don't know about the sharp teeth, though. <laughs> Mr. Husband, may I ask, what is your first name? Albert. Albert Husband. Are you married? Yes. Well, thank goodness for that. I would hate to think of you in any other condition. Well, you go on over there and meet our, meet our panel, Carl, Joni, and Dane. You will collect checks from only two, Dane and Carl. But I thank you very much on behalf of Swanson for playing the name of the same. Nice knowing you. Yeah. You will find, upon reading Radio TV Mirror in this current issue, that Joan Alexander is not only fabulous on this program, but is also fabulous in many other fields of the entertainment world. There's a wonderful picture of her on the front cover, wonderful story inside, and there's also a story on me. I'm very happy about that. So Radio TV Mirror, that's a July issue, I believe, yes. Well, now we come to the I'd Like to Be portion of the names the same, and here to play I'd Like to Be with us is a young lady I am just delighted to be able to welcome here. She's one of my favorite actresses, comedians, in the radio, on television, and motion pictures. It's a real thrill. She just got into New York this morning, Miss Eve Arden. Well, I got to say, uh, I've got to echo, I heard an ooh like I haven't heard on this program in a long time, Miss Arden. Of course, I hope that all of you watch our Miss Brooks as faithfully as I do. It's one of Where my... are all the people? There they are, oh, right I there, see? see? Nice and cool in our theater this mm -hmm. evening. May I say welcome to the names the same? Thank you very much, Are you Robert on vacation? Or... We certainly are. I We're know. on our way to Europe. Oh, I that's... hate to mention that. But uh, <laughs> it's been so long in coming, and we're so thrilled about it. So Wonderful. We leave in another day. Wonderful. Well, in just a moment, we want the panel to go to work on you, Miss Arden. Before the show started, Eve Arden told us who she who might like crown? to... Pardon. Well, that's part of the commercial. You'll see what happens <laughs> right there. We have a very special thing. Day. Thank you. Incidentally, <clears throat> Miss Arden is fascinated by our operation, our technical operation on this show. Is it at all similar to uh, the way you... Uh... No, it's a little different. Uh... We film our show. You know, we do have an audience, but ours are in bleachers. And we have a lot of sets all in a row. I, I guess it's pretty similar. Pretty similar. All right. Well, now let's let the panel try to figure out who it is Eve Arden would like to be, just in fun, of course. She warned herself. Let's let our home audience see that famous name. <laughs> there is, incidentally, audience, a very good reason for this choice, which we'll talk about later. Panel, we play the same as before. The loser's checks will go to Eve Arden's favorite charity. Uh, let's start this round off with Dane Clark. Dane? Uh, would you like to be, or are you a living, a living person? Oh, I'd like very much to be one. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. For the purposes uh, of you, our game. Oh, I see. Yeah. I got are, you, uh, are, are you living? <laughs> Were you ever living? Uh, not exactly. Uh, no. No. Are you, uh, are you I was based on perhaps I, a living person. Uh, are you fictional? Yes. Are you, uh, an American fiction? No. Uh, the, the, it, oh. it's been adopted by American fiction. fiction. It's, it's basically not... Basically, Basically, mm -hmm. well, uh, <clears throat> all right. Well, is this, adult, is this character in fiction and a, a character who would appeal more to adults than children? Well, no. No. That's hard to answer because I read I think your answer is right. And you have five questions, Dane. All right, uh, Carl, ten questions. Does this person you would like to be appear in uh, fairy tales or nursery rhymes? Yes. Does, is this a, uh, um, does this person have more than one name in her name? No. Uh, oh, well, oh, well, yes. Has two <laughs> names, the first and, first and last name, in other words. Isn't Miss, exactly Miss Snow White. what you'd call, yes, it's a name. I yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, is, is, this, is this person you would like to be very beautiful. No, I doubt it. Uh, I pass. I'd All like right. her to be, but she isn't. Right. <laughs> She's not beautiful. Is she a kind of evil character in fiction? 
Well, she does have an evil side, which I didn't really discover until after I'd chosen her. I'm going to apologize for that later. I see. Um, <laughs> That's my <evil. laughs> uh, Is she, is she, um, was she very beautiful? No, no. She was ugly and evil. No, I don't think she was ugly. I Nobody see. ever thought much about that. <laughs> I see. Uh, was her creator um, a European? I believe so. We assume yes. so. Mm -hmm. You assume so. Mm -hmm. um, well, I pass. All right. Well, uh, Dane, five questions. Uh, is it a woman? Yes. Really, mm -hmm. we ask a lot of questions. Is it... Uh, that's a good question, uh, Dane. It hasn't been established yet, I don't yeah, believe. Yeah, as far as me, he's liable to <laughs> double talk me to death here. <laughs> uh, uh, is it, uh, is it uh, a, a legend as opposed to a piece of uh, known literature? No, I wouldn't say so, would you? No, I, I, I would not say it was a legendary character. It's been established that this was a, 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 a literary character. I, I would so appeal, that would, it has been pass. established, <laughs> if you recall, that this character would appeal more to children than to adults. That has already been established. Carl, six questions. Is this uh, person an older character, an older person? Yes, she is. Uh, mm -hmm. Did she have a lot of children? Yes. Did they live in a strange abode? Yes, they did. Uh, <laughs> is it the He's old woman who li lived in a shoe? Yes, that's right. <laughs> I say that's a pretty darn tough one to get, too. May I yes, tell good. why? Tell why before you read the second. She can't get an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> What's evil about her? No, well, I read the last of the birds, which I hadn't read, believe me, in years. And Would you care to read it for us? Yeah, I happen to have are. a copy. There was an old woman who lived in the shoe, had so many children, she didn't know what to do. That's the part I would like. She gave them some milk and she gave them some bread. That's not too bad. She spanked them all soundly and sent them to bed. Yeah, why did she know spank them? What did they do? They didn't eat the, the milk and bread, maybe. When you have that many, it gets pretty aggravated. <laughs> this makes, this makes a big heavy out of my mother. Eve you know? <laughs> <laughs> Arden, I can't thank you enough. It's been wonderful meeting you, and uh, thank I know you that I, I express the sentiments of all our viewers when I wish you a wonderful vacation in Europe, and I wish you would get back to see Thank us you, again. Sir. Where do I pick up the check? Oh, the yes, of course. <laughs> on, behalf of, uh, on behalf of Swanson, I, you may pick up some checks from... Who got that one? I forget. Oh, oh. Carl, all right. Carl. Johnny did. and Dane will be very happy to give you all checks. Right. Well, it's always Dane. Don't you worry very about much. it. Just Thank you. Thank you. Meet our next guest with a famous name. Hi. Hey, I say you're just as cute as you can be. Thank you. Not at all. You remember how we play our game? I mean, oh, uh, pardon me. Where are you from? Union, New Jersey. Union, New Jersey. And uh, uh, do you still go to school? Yes, I do. I see. Where? Union High School. I graduate tomorrow night. Do you? <laughs> well, wonderful. Good for you. Now, before we play our game, let's let our home audience see this young lady's famous name. We know this is the young lady's name. Our legal experts have checked its authenticity panel. I don't think we've come up against one in this category in some time. Miss X's name is a place. A place. Uh, this is a little bit rough, but I think with some good questions, you'll probably be able to determine her name. Let's start off with uh, Joan Alexander. Is this place in uh, the Western Hemisphere? Yes. Is it in um, the United States? Yes. In the eastern part of the United States? Yes. I pass. <laughs> is it, uh, is this place where you'd like, where I'd like to be, <laughs> that you are, uh, in the metropolitan area? <laughs> Very good, Dave. What was the is question? Is it in the metropolitan area? No. Well, I mean, within a radius of 100 miles of New York, all around. No. No. Is this place a natural place or a man-made place? Mm. Let us say that its primary claim to fame is its, uh, are its natural ah. attractions. Is it New York State? No, it's not. I pass. Carl, ten questions. Is it below the Mason-Dixon line? Yes. Is it uh, in the lower part of the uh, southern states, in the lower states? No. Oh, it's right in there someplace. Is it uh, around Washington? 
Well, what do you mean by a round washing? Well, well things are round 50, washing. 50,000 miles a square, you know. In that case, it's round washing. Yeah. Um, is this place, let's see if we can find, is this place um, uh, larger than a park? Well, here we go again. How large is the park? Well, like Central Park or Broadway. It is larger than Central Park. Um, we have six questions. Joni, seven. Does it have any uh, primary historic importance? Would I know it for that? Not primarily. Is that uh, correct? Is it, is, mm -hmm. is it known for great scenic beauty? Yes. Um, uh, not a very unusual type of no. scenic beauty. That is not its primary claim to fame once again, its scenic beauty. How much time do we have, please? About two and a half? Go ahead. Does it have anything to do with water? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it a beach of some kind? Mm -hmm. Yes. It is a beach. And you have three questions. Does it also include the name of a state? <laughs> yes. Well, the only beach I can think of that includes the name of a state would be Virginia Beach. Is Very right? good, Johnny. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. Incidentally, I, I'd like to point out that Virginia Beach has a festival each year called the Sand Festival, at which Miss Virginia Beach is prominently, uh, uh, figures prominently, and very prominent figure. Miss Beach, I want to thank you very much for appearing. On behalf of Swanson, if you will run over and say our panel, Dane and Carl will be glad to give you their checks. Thank, thank you so much. We have a fast, a fast moment or so to introduce our next guest with a famous name. Hi. Right. Quickly, where are you from? New York City. New York City and your occupation? Clerk. All right, clerk. Let me show the home audience your famous name. All right, panel, we have very little time left. Joni, will you start, please? Are you living? No. Were you ever living? Yes. Were you in the art? Yes. Yes. I pass. Were you, an, were you an American when you were living? No. Were you a European? Yes. Continental Europe? Uh, not continental Europe, no. Then you're How much time, please? About 30 seconds, panel. An Englishman? No. Pass. Carl, ten questions. Uh, were you from, uh, not continental Europe, were no. you from uh, one of the... Uh, uh, Wait a minute, we've gotten into this before. It is continental Europe. Now, go it ahead. It is continental Europe. It's one of the romance countries. No. We have, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to call time. It's unfortunate because I think we would have had a lot of fun with this. This young lady's name is Jenny Lind. Oh, oh wonderful. Jenny Lind. Sing, sing for us. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Lind, on account of time, you have won yourself a full prize. You go on over and meet Carl and Joni and Dane and pick up your checks for $25 each. Do you sing at all? Not a bit. Not a note, huh? <laughs> well, it's been nice meeting you. Thank you so much from Thank Swanson you. for playing the names the same. I'll be back in a moment, folks. Tell you a little bit about next week's show and how they... All right, let's have a little accounting now. Dane, how'd you do on your first visit? Dane Clark. Well, first time, I lost $125. Doesn't bother me. The checks are going to bounce anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so long, folks. Joan Alexander, how about you? I lost $50. Dane and I have known each other ever since we were kids, and it was such fun to have him on the show. Good night, everybody. Carl Reiner, how about you? I lost $100, but as long as you lose it with good sportsmanship, it doesn't matter. <laughs> good night. <laughs> good night, Carl. You did very well. <laughs> so on, folks, for C.A. Swanson and Sons, packers of America's best-known brand of canned and frozen poultry. The panel and I will be back again next week on The Name's the Same. We'll be brought to you at that time by the makers of Johnson's Wax. Americans get off on Labor Day. It's a daytime show, gang. But there's no rest for the whammy. Give me all your money. This Labor Day, GSN salutes the hardest working wham in showbiz. Watch the Press Your Luck Labor Day Marathon, Monday, September 1st, starting at 9 a.m. 8 Central, only on GSN. Make up.